full forecast coming up later. Outside of London, the Midlands is home to the largest concentration of Sikhs in the UK. Tens of thousands live in our region but still have close links with their roots in India. Many continue to practice their faith at home and in temples or gurdwaras, and many try to visit or revisit the holiest shrine for Sikhs, the Golden Temple in northern India. Our reporter, Pradeep Popat, travelled to the Punjab with businessman Vic Sethi from Leicester, who has close links with the site, which is also known as the Temple of God. I travelled to the northern Indian state of Punjab to visit one of the oldest Sikh temples around. I wanted to find out more about its history and why it attracts so many people from all faiths. Punjab means the land of five rivers. It's a state rich in agriculture and known as the breadbasket of India. And it's also home to this amazing building. In the bustling city of Amritsar lies the Golden Temple, which is also known as Harmanda Sahab. Vic Seti is a businessman from Leicester who regularly visits the shrine, which was built more than 400 years ago. This is where basically our fourth guru uh, came and settled and he basically, the fifth Guru then, even established the Guru Granth Sahib, our 11, the, the main holy book in the uh, Harmandir Sahib, which we call the Golden Temple. Uh, and Amritsar basically stands for, Amrit means nectar and Sar means like a sarovar, like a, a tank of water. So it's a very, very holy city for the Sikhs. Wow. People queue to go inside the actual temple which houses the Sikh holy book, the Guru Granth Sahib, which is treated with the utmost respect and seen as a living guru. The Golden Temple is a two-storied marble structure with four doors, which in itself is symbolic. You can see at the back that the entrance to the place is just one, so it's one path going into the temple, but then you've got four four points, four doors on the temple, which means people from north, west, south, east, everyone is welcome. No matter what religion, culture they are from, everyone's welcome in here. Visitors must remove their shoes and wash their feet at the entrance. Anyone who comes to the Golden Temple has to cover their head as a mark of respect, male or female. Vic, why is that? One thing everyone believes in, every faith believes in, that God is everywhere. So then we were told that why should we just cover our heads only when we go into a temple or anywhere else in a house of worship when God exists everywhere and that's one reason we have to cover our head and the second thing is because we Sikhs are, uh, have long hair so obviously to maintain the hair and to maintain you know, the uh, smartness it's always good to cover your hair and keep them dressed into a turban. A lot of people who come they actually bathe in the water here does that have special properties? Yes, uh, there is a blessing in this water that uh, basically anyone who has got any illness or any skin problems or any type of problems, they are, if he does it with good faith and with a real faith in mind, he, has a ba he bathes in this water, in the holy water, it will cure him or her. Tomorrow I'll be looking at the incredible way tens of thousands of people are given free food 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Rajiv Poppet at the Golden Temple in India for Central Tonight. There you go, you're having curry tonight. Do you see all those numbers? Yeah, I'm getting very hungry. It is about <laughs> that time, isn't it? Uh, now, still to come on Central Tonight, Emma will be rushing around with the performers from the Moscow State Circus. Very well, nice. First, let's take in all the day sports news, shall we? Yep, well, we start with football and West. A wife accused of murdering her husband.
only 30 consultants in more alleys can be managed in the community rather than hospital and wasting more money in the hospital.